Hello, it's George from Australia, and welcome to Game In My Whole Life, where I discuss everything video game related, past, present, and future. Ladies and gentlemen, with all this talk about the Nintendo 64 games coming to the Nintendo online service via the expansion pass, we're all talking about Zelda, we're all talking about Mario Kart, but there is a game which not many people are talking about. Naturally, I want to create that balance because I've been spending our sum of today playing, want to make sure I get the name right, Winback Covert Operations. Now, when this launched as a Nintendo 64 exclusive, later on it was ported to the PS2 in the next generation, but as far as the N64 versus PS1 days, it was an exclusive, and I remember playing this game when I was younger. All I remember was vague flashbacks. I remembered you could lean your back against a wall. You could come out and shoot. I remembered something along the lines of I thought the guns were cool, and I thought the visuals were really cool. That was about it. I just remembered it was some sort of solid shooter. Having spent um, you know, the last couple hours playing it now, I can say it is actually a very very good game. It's not a Nintendo first party exclusive or anything like that. But it is great and, you know, it's very easy for people to miss out on this game because they're too busy playing the Nintendo Classics. Now, look, go ahead, play the Nintendo Classics. I am as well. I'm not going to judge you for it. But I haven't seen anyone talk about this game, so I'm going to do my part. I've spent at least a couple hours today playing. This is actually a very good shooter and especially for the time. Um, so how you play, it's a third-person action game. You get your handgun, you get your machine gun, you get your shotgun. They're the main three which you will cycle with. The handgun is unlimited but ammunition, but it is the weakest. Machine gun, shotgun, you need to find out your ammunition. Um, even though the game is action-focused, your guy can't take that many hits. So you're going to find yourself trying to be as stealthy as possible. You're going to find yourself crouching behind boxes, leaning up against walls. You're going to um, find yourself, you know, peeking out of the walls, taking a couple shots, moving right back because uh, you can't take that many shots. Um, the game is flexible, though. You have one option that you can auto-aim at the closest enemy. So you lean out, shoot them, come back in. Um, or you can manually aim, sort of similar to our Resident Evil 4 actually, where Leon looks around and he has his laser focus pointer. Um, this game has that, so you can choose which one to do. Personally, I like to mix it up. I like the autofocus because it will autofocus on their chest. But then if I aim slightly up, I can shoot them in the head and headshots kill them in one shot. You can even take the stealth route if you want. See, while you explore the environments, even though it's very restricted just for the era which the game came out, if you look around, you will find secrets. You know, I found a silencer for my handgun, so I actually got a separate gun just for that. You can shoot them in the head. As I said, they drop dead. You can, if you can manage to get behind them, you can actually whack them with your weapon and they'll fall down and, you know, die and so forth. So you can choose the stealth approach, you can choose the action approach. A lot of times you'll be forced into action uh, sequences, so maybe you can pop off one or two guys before the rest of them are like, hey, and then they start attacking you. But it is very strategic and just a very solid game. You know, while you're hiding behind boxes, bo a lot of boxes can be uh, destroyed. So you need to keep in mind you can't hide there for too long because, you know, the enemy will destroy it. They'll come after you. And also, no surprise to my subscribers who knows how I feel about water graphics in video games. I'm obsessed with water graphics if you're new here. I actually really like the fact that even though this was the N64 PS1 era where water was always flat, static, not moving, this and that, um, there's some certain there's certain water segments in this game, right, where the, you have actual little mini waves. You can see the actual transparent water move, which was a which was an effect you really didn't see often. It actually was quite rare, so it was quite nice to be in a certain um, section, which I'll make sure the footage is definitely showing now. And you can see the water moving. Um, it's just a nice little it's nice it's a nice little touch. And I just want to say as well because no one else is going to care about this but me. But you may notice that um you know the water seems quite quite realistic, you know, there isn't much blueness to it, it's very grey. Um, when you play the actual game, the colours pop a lot better, the water there is quite blue, but my recording software, turns out there was, I, I stuffed up the settings and all that, long story short, uh, it turns out that a lot of my um, game, uh, game console games that I record and upload and, you know, do videos on, Turns out I'm uploading a uh, inferior version to what I actually see on the TV, which is a darn shame. But yeah, when you play this in person, colors look much better. Water looks a lot more blue. Ah, uh, yeah, just want to point that out in case you know the footage seems a bit dark sometimes. The game isn't that dark. I just yeah, 
the the settings reset on me. I had no idea. And so it didn't record it at quite the awesome quality that I get to play it as. I have to say as well, I really like the uh, difficulty level of this game. It's not too hard to figure out. You stuff up the buttons, but for the most part, you know what you're doing. But you can only take a few hits and it makes you respect the game a lot more. It makes you focus a lot more on the strategic side of things. See, at first, because of the fact that you can auto um, lock on them, you know, you may be tempted to just run right in front of them, auto lock, shoot, auto lock, shoot, and like, you know, go to the next area. And a couple rare instances, you can get away with that. But for the most part, if you try to pull that off, they will shoot you and you will die. I actually died multiple times. And I like that in a game where it forces you to then use the game mechanics. Like you can cover, you can be stealthy in this game. You can do stealth attacks or you can do a HO with the silencer and so forth. That's all great. But if the game is too easy and you don't need to do any of that, then you're going to just find yourself just shooting them. Like, you know, why bother being stealthy? But the fact that I died when I didn't do these things was a very rewarding experience for me. And I have to say as well, it was quite surprised to find a tutorial section in this video game and also quite a few um, video game options that you can toy around with. Um, during the early 3D days, there was normally very little options in video games and almost never ever tutorials. You figured it out on the fly. Now, for the most part, I prefer doing that, you know, but I did like the fact that because this game lets you be stealthy, lets you attack in different ways, lets you cover lets you shoot things that cause explosions and this and that it was nice that if you wanted to you could go into a tutorial section that you can volunteer to otherwise you can go straight to the story it was nice that it was nice that that option was there because you know i spent five six minutes doing the tutorial and then when i went into the game i already felt slightly familiar and then i was excited to try out the game mechanics that i had already practiced with Anyways, that's enough out of me. I just wanted to give you my hands-on impressions of Winback Covert Operations. Uh, feel free to mention down below in the comment section if you've played this game, if you're enjoying it, if it holds up to your memory, and most importantly, if you've been enjoying your time with the Nintendo 64 um, games. I certainly know I have been playing Mario Kart 64, um, obviously playing this. My partner played uh, Dr. Mario in front of me. Save myself for uh, Zelda. I need to play some Mario Tennis. I'm, I'm quite happy with what I'm getting here. Anyways, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you all live on this big blue planet of ours. God bless you all. Take care, and I'll see you for the next video here at Game In My Whole Life. All right, bye-bye.